Right, so it's time to take this baby outside. I mean, obviously, welcome to a very mild, actually, it's a bit chilly, British weather, of course. Rain, rain is, is the, uh, the signature thing for weather in this country. Anyway, but right now I'm using the gimbal, of course, and I've got my mobile phone hooked up. And uh, the reason being is, I mean, obviously this is a perfect opportunity for me to vlog while walking in the park, just chilling. Um, of course, the good thing about this is that the, my phone is waterproof and the actual gimbal itself is splash proof. This is a perfect combination of things that I, I would, I want, because I've been looking for a waterproof or a splash proof gimbal for, for a long time. And I went on a holiday a couple of times. And um, I, when I took my Vimble uh, 2S, there wasn't much, I mean, there was a lot of rain there. And it was unfortunate because I couldn't take out my gimbal. So I turned up using my hand to film. And it was a lot, very much jerky, the whole uh, shooting and the filming. But this is perfect. I'm able to take my gimbal out and about. Um, in a weather where it's ideal. I mean, obviously, it's not really that wet now. It's just drizzling rain. But hey ho, if it starts raining, I'm fully, I'm fully prepared. And here it is, folks, the Foyatec G6 Max. Um, obviously, I haven't opened this yet. There's not much information in the outside of the box. But you know what I like about this? Not only is it splash proof, which I've mentioned, but what I like about this is, of course, that you could put your DSLR, you could put your uh, action camera and your smartphone. So this is absolutely perfect for an all-in-one solution. And there's very, not a lot of these available out there. So oh my God, that's a nice box. So all the, all the Foyotech um, products that I've bought in the past have always had this envelope in it. And obviously the reason I buy Foyotech is because um, it's cheaper compared to this competitors and it does exactly the same job. Oh, so you got warranty card here and also you have a quick start guide and in the quick start guide you have in the, all the information you need in Chinese and I'm assuming in this side in English. So even though the box is bulky, it's pretty sturdy. I love it. It's pretty strong. We've got the Foyotech logo in the bottom. Or is that the top? That might must be the top. Oh, look at that! I love the, I love the design of this, and it's, it's made to stand some good impact. So I love, I love the, I love the way they've designed the the actual packaging. Oh wow! So what we have here, we have the, the DSLR mount right here, for the DSLR. Uh, we have a. USB-C cable. We have a tripod stand, which is come standard in most Foyotech products. This is very handy. I love this. This is such a cool thing to have, right? We have the actual gimbal itself, which you know what? It's pretty, pretty nice. I like it. Oh my God. You know what? What I like about this is got the locking mechanism. Look at this. You could lock it. Oh yes. Oh yes. You could lock it. This is so handy. And this here on one, there's one up here as well. Oh yes. Oh yes. This is so cool. I wonder how you could uh, put your phone. Phone is, uh, is, is this? I think this is for the phone as well, to be honest. This is not for the DSLR, but for the phone and for the uh, actual uh, action cameras, as well as a DSLR so yeah this is perfect so here you have the multi-function knob right here perfect you have the action joystick you have a multi-function button right here and you also you have the the shutter button right next to it, which is right there so perfect this is a threading button right here if you want to add more gadgets or more stuff to it you have like a locking mechanism right there to to move this to lock to place the actual plate in place very nice on the side you have the power button you have the usb for charging 
right there, USB for charging. And you have the camera button here to change between uh, camera or photography, or whatever. This is very cool. So all, all, all the controls are done at your fingertip, especially, I mean, of course, you have a display screen right there as well. So that's pretty nice that you could see what you're doing. And here you have the trigger button. It, of course, you could double tap to reset. You could press and hold to fast follow, which is the default. And then you could also triple tap it for selfie mode. So this will, if you, trip it, if you triple tap it three times, the camera will switch and move towards you, which is very nice. And obviously, mentioned, like I mentioned before, there's one locking mechanism right here. So that opens up. Then you got one here as well. And you got one here as well. So this is so cool with the locking mechanism. And what, what's amazing about this is that you could support up to 1.2 kilograms of hardware. Right, so I switched this on and because there's nothing mounted, it's vibrating quite aggressively. So I need to uh, sort this out. There's no camera, there's no Bluetooth, no Wi-Fi. So yeah, what I'll do, I'll switch this off, charge it and then find out what I could do with it. And this is standard with most gimbals. If you don't mount something to it, it will start vibrating. Here it's got the rubber grips. So very nice. So that one slip. And on the bottom, you have another thread hole, which is pretty cool for connecting other, other uh, devices or anything else. Maybe your microphone, your flashlight, whatever you want to use. Then it all can be done, all can be done there, which is pretty nice. And inside here, Oh, you have an action camera adapter. Very nice. And it's got all these different types. Well, in the accessory box, not only you get the mobile phone mount right there with foyer tech, and it's quite nicely made. It's uh, made, made out of steel, this. And you've got rubber connection, rubber hold right here and rubber there. Which is also have one for your action camera right here as well. So for your action camera. But if you want to know what these are, and <laughs> there's quite a lot of them, most of these connections on one end are USB-C. So I'm assuming it's for here, right there. That will that will go. Let's just take one. Let's go for this one. And this end, this end will go towards your camcorder or, or mobile phone or whatever device that you might have that you can't control via Bluetooth. So this is perfect. You can even control your external devices or your cameras with a, you know, with a wire. So I love this, this is so cool, so convenient. Because you know, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, they, they're gonna be wasting a lot of battery. And if you're out and about and don't have the power or, or a charging station or whatever, then obviously you, want, you might wanna have a better solution for you to be able to control your camera without wasting too much battery if you have limited power supply. So I'm lucky that I have all the gadgets that this gimbal is supposed to support. So my mobile phone, perfectly connected, not an issue. Then I tried my uh, action camera, that was good. But the main thing that I wanted to check was the uh, DSLR because I always felt my DSLR was heavy and now this is fine. And here's a comparison between the DJI Ronin and the Vimbal 2S and you know what? It sits right in the middle, very perfectly balanced. It's balanced. Oh my God. Do you know how long it took me to balance this? But I'm really impressed now. So I'm basically uh, here right now. It's like a little stream. Kind of, it's not, there's no river by the way. I wish it was a river. It smells horrible here by the way. It's not nice at all. But I thought I'd bring my gimbal here and give it a shot. It's just um, because obviously the water looks cool and what I like about this gimbal is that I could control everything using the actual knob or the joystick. That's so cool. Honestly, this is so handy because you don't need, you need, to, you don't need to be on the application itself. You don't need to be on the foyer tech application itself for you to be able to control this. You can control this literally using the, the actual native hardware. So again, with the trigger, I, I managed to reset the position of the actual axles. And now I'm able just to walk around 
in this smelly woodlands and just film. Do you know what? I'm really thinking of taking this somewhere even more exotic. Honestly. I mean, this is my local park, but I think this needs to be taken into the mountains. And what better location to take this gimbal is to the tallest mountain in England, Lake District. Now, of course, this has many features, this, uh, this gimbal. And one of the things I like about this is got about nine shooting modes and some of them are all following inception mode, hunting mode, vertical shooting mode, motion time lapse and a self timer mode. It has nine hours battery life, three hours charging and it supports a variety of manufacturers, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth as well. And if you don't have those capabilities, you could use a wire if you like. So hey, hey, they've thought about everything. Now, of course, going up scaffold pike it was hard work and you can hear me panting uh, in the background but i've enjoyed that and, and going up the mountain it was windy it was tough i, I don't want to carry the gimbal anymore at some points because it was difficult but it wasn't that bad and it was very handy because it gave me the pictures i wanted i'm not a professional photographer but uh, here i am at the top however it gave me the images i wanted it was really windy, it was so windy, I was surprised the gimbal actually held itself. I will put a link to the product in the description below, so please do check it out. And be sure to like my videos, I hope you've enjoyed everything so far, I've enjoyed it. So I think I'm going to run a little bit, to show you what the stability is when I'm running. So here it goes, I'm literally running now. I'm scared of all the crows as well. I think I'm gonna to go to that um, skate park, <laughs> skate park, uh, just to. But yeah, man, this is quite stable actually. Very much impressed. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I think I'm tired now. And here it goes. I'm gonna try inception mode. Oh my lord, this is so cool. Oh wow. Alright, so you just saw the inception one, which is very impressive. I love that. But obviously there's two ways. Oh, I'll start to train now. Good. Very good. So there's two ways to do this. Either uh, it, goes, it goes like le um, it goes right or left. Or it just does continuous spinning, which is great. If you're, gonna, if you're a filmmaker or if you like to have these effects, instead of doing it on the application or on the software, you can do it on the actual... Um, gimbal itself. So what do I think about this gimbal? I think it's amazing. It is kind of drizzling right now, which is good. That's exactly what I want it. Uh, it's good if you're going to be going out to, I don't know, an adventure. You're going to take your DSLR, you're going to take your, um, you know, the action camera, or you're going to be taking your smartphone. This supports all three of them. It's quite light, it's handy, it's got enough battery power. So if you're going to go on holiday, Personally, I would take this as the only gimbal for me, to be honest, because that will do, I could mount all my um, my recording devices and then be able to record all my adventure using any device I have, either it's an action camera or a mobile phone or my DSLR. So it's perfect. It's absolutely amazing. Obviously, you need to have space for the box. The, the box is quite big, uh, but you know what? Uh, if you want it to be protected then you might as well have it in a box that is of that sort anyway i hope you've enjoyed watching this video please let me know what you think about this gimbal if you're using it if you think there is a better one out there that i should, I should try out but so far i've been searching for a long time for a gimbal where i could use on, on my holidays i hope you enjoyed watching this video please subscribe to my channel hit that thumbs up leave a comment below let me know what you think about this gimbal it's really windy i hope the sound is okay thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next videos guys take it easy